Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Patson and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash relationship advice where we find out what happens when a nice guy meets a giga chad. Let's begin. My husband's best friend just kissed me and I'm unsure of what to do. Posted by Reddit user Butt Knuckles. I am an immigrant that recently relocated to another country to be with my husband after being long distance with him for several years. Needless to say, my husband is my best friend and I love him deeply. Because I've struggled making my own friends here, I am on friendly terms with my husband's friends. They are all for the most part decent people and welcomed me with open arms, which I am grateful for. We all occasionally hang out and it's never really been an issue. Recently, I began planning a surprise party for my husband's birthday and I figured I would reach out to his friends about planning to see if they wanted to help. Enter my husband's best friend Adam. Adam has been my husband's friend for about 10 years now. Adam is married to a wife of his own who I am friends with. Adam immediately was very supportive of my ideas and was insistent on helping. Many times, he offered to drive me around the city to go to different stores since my husband and I don't have a car, which I would decline since I didn't want to cause him any hassle. He would offer to use his place of work as the location for the party. He works at a fancy restaurant. Again, I would decline because my husband isn't the type of person to enjoy birthday celebrations like that, but I would let him know I appreciated his kind offer and that I felt he was being a very kind and generous friend. He was fairly persistent, but I figured it was just because he wanted to make his friend's birthday memorable. Fast forward to this week, Adam texted me and told me he had his birthday gift for my husband, but he would need help loading it up in his car. I asked about what it was but he just said a joke about how I would tell my husband so I couldn't know. I didn't think anything of it and agreed to help him today. We drove to the store, got the gift wrapped, but it was big and heavy, and drove back. He put the car in park and as I started getting out, he reached out to me and kissed me. I was taken aback and immediately pulled away. <coughs> 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 I asked him what he was doing and he said that he thought I was cute and he wanted to shoot his shot. I asked him about my husband and he said that he didn't need to know. I was just overwhelmed and couldn't begin to wrap my mind around what was happening. He apologized and said he thought I was sending signals because of me saying he was a kind and generous person. He then said that my husband can't know about it because my husband would blame me and would divorce me. I'd have to go back to my home country etc. I got out of the car and just went inside. My husband was at work, so he doesn't know. I have a lot of conflicting feelings. I know I want to tell my husband, because of how Adam went about this proves that he doesn't have my husband's best intentions in mind and is incredibly selfish. My issue arises in how to go about telling him. I am super upset about this whole thing because it's a weird place to be in. I doubt my husband won't believe me because we have a good trust in each other, but I am nervous as to how this will affect the relationship. I'm nervous he will redirect those feelings of betrayal towards me. If that's the case, would it be justified? I just need some guidance on how to approach this for minimal damage to my husband. I know it's bound to happen, but I obviously don't want to hurt him if I can. I appreciate any advice. Edit. I have seen everyone's comments saying to tell my husband the truth. I am planning on telling him when he gets home. However, there seems to be some confusion as to what I'm asking for here. I know I want to tell him, but I am unsure how to tell him without it having an effect on our relationship. My husband is a good man, but no one wants to be the bearer of bad news that their friend that they have known for years is an awful and manipulative person. I don't know how to breach the subject in a gentle way. I tend to let my emotions get the better of me, and this event has me thinking rather compulsively. I don't want to hurt my husband more than necessary. Any advice on how to tell him would be appreciated. Depending on what happens, I'll update when I can. And now for OP's update. Hi everyone. It's been a doozy over the last few days and my post wasn't really all that popular, but I figured I'd update for those that may be curious. Before I go into big details, I just wanted to say thank you for your advice. My husband came home a few days ago and I surprised him with his favorite meal. I had a day off and was a ball of nervous energy so I had cleaned the house, did laundry, and cooked. Basically, I wanted the environment to be as stress-free as possible for my husband, because I knew it was going to be hard on him. So, we sat down to eat and he had been able to tell lately that something's been bothering me and he asked me what was going on. So, I told my husband as gently as I could and he was understandably upset. Thankfully, Adam didn't get to him before I did and he believed me. 
I know a lot of people were worried about Adam telling my husband lies about what had actually happened before I was able to, but this didn't happen, thankfully. He was really mad at Adam for kissing me, but especially mad at him threatening me with deportation. We talked it through and after a few hours, came to the conclusion that in order to protect my residency, we would file a police report for assault against Adam. Thank you to those who suggested this. As we talked, Adam sent me a text message that said this. Hey, I just wanted to check in on you to make sure you remembered what I said to you in my car yesterday. I really don't want you to go back to your home country. I've also been thinking of you. Call me when you get this. We have things we need to talk about. Yeah, creepy stuff, plus low-key threats. It had my husband seeing red and me feeling scared, so we went to the police station the same night I told him. They seemed freaked out by Adam's most recent text and agreed it seemed like a veiled threat, so I filed a police report and they are investigating. As other Redditors pointed out, I wasn't the only victim in this situation. The next day, I texted Adam's wife when I knew Adam was working, to see if she wanted to meet up and she said sure. So, we met up and I told her what happened. I showed her the text and sadly, she didn't take it too well. It's understandable, but this is what I worried about. She seemed to think that I flirted with him, called me a home wrecker. I know this was probably out of lashing out, but it still made me feel bad, both for her and me for Adam putting us in this situation. It's sad I lost a friend. Shortly after I met with his wife, Adam started blowing up my phone, but I didn't answer. I assume his wife confronted him or the police called him, I'm not sure what set him off. He then sent me a bunch of texts that just got crazier and crazier, to the point to where I didn't feel safe. So, I called my husband who was at work, and he told me that Adam was also blowing his phone up too. We ended up calling the police because Adam was threatening to come to our apartment and do what he should have done when I was in his car. Satisfying ending, sort of. He was detained by police for making what they deemed a credible threat against me. It's still an ongoing situation, and I'm a bit upset by how this whole thing essentially blew up, but at least my family and I are okay. The most important thing I'm focusing on is recognizing that what happened isn't my fault and that I am a victim here. Also, therapy going forward. Overall, this experience has shown me how quickly people can change once they don't get their way. If you had told me a week ago that Adam was a nice guy, I would have laughed at you. As we went through Adam and I's very few interactions, my husband agreed that there wasn't any mixed signals. Adam had completely made it up in his head, or as some of you pointed out, was trying to take advantage of a woman in a vulnerable position. I am fortunate that I got the support and protection I needed. It's certainly a great way to start off a new life in a new country, that's for sure. Anyways, I wanted to say thanks for all the comments and support my last post got. My husband read the post and was thankful that I wasn't dealing with this situation by myself. Thanks internet. Also, shout out to my husband for literally handling this in the most amazing way. Lucky to have him, so give him some internet love. TLDR. Husband's best friend turned out to be a crazed nice guy who was arrested for threatening me. Edit. I'm seeing some people saying negative things about Adam's wife. I feel it's important to remind Redditors that she is just as much of a victim here as I am. Adam and her have been together for a lengthy period of time, and it makes sense that in her hurt, she would lash out on the person closest. Adam's wife was very kind to me and the first friend I made in the country. She would check in on me daily and invite me to meet her friends, cook food for me, help me find work, etc. She has never once been malicious towards me and I see no reason to believe she will start now, and I hold no ill will to her either. In fact, I hope she is able to find peace because she did not deserve what Adam did to her and their family. The only person in the situation that deserves your negativity is behind bars currently. Please be respectful to her as she holds a place close to my heart. OP, Adam is a predator and I just want to give more reassurance that you and his wife did nothing wrong in this situation. It's good that you're okay and you definitely did the right thing by contacting the police. Also, I'm glad that your husband is very supportive. He handled this like a giga chad. You owe him a nice romantic evening. <laughs> Stay safe and good luck, OP. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. 
Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.